Yeah. They were like, just do make it really Shirley Bassey. And I was yeah. like, Okay, because <laughs> you never get asked to like be Shirley Bassey in a musical. People are like, no, do not do. You don't even touch the Bassey. And like you in this, somebody Bassey. looked at me and was like, just be be Bassey. And I was like, okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I only joined the cast in the uh, West End transfer that Ollie has been with it since day dot. To sort of like prepare, I watched, uh, I did watch the episodes. That's it was always kind of left to us if we wanted to watch the episodes mm. or not. And I watched quite, a, and I became like a massive fan and was like, oh, so that this is where that episode of The Simpsons came from, and this is where the West Wing ringtone was in, and like there's so many cultural references that you've got no idea come from the Twilight Zone, and it was a bit like a weird like awakening of like sci-fi. <laughs> Well, that's Culture. the thing, isn't it? Because it's such a massive cult favourite, yeah. both the TV show and the movie as well. It's, it, it, was that a pressure for you to deliver that on stage? Because it's very faithful, but it's, it's kind of unique as well, the stage show, I think. Yeah, I think, you know, I think, it's, of course, it's, it's different, like you say, with the comedy, just let alone us like, splicing the episodes together. There's only a couple that you actually see the full arc in its entirety from when we start a particular episode. So it's broken up anyway. It's its own beast, it's its own thing. And uh, particularly for stage, I don't think, I've never seen anything like this before no. in terms of its ambition to kind of put so many things on stage. So we knew we was doing our own unique thing. It's impossible to try and reenact something, particularly it's so specific for film as well. We have to update it and change it. So honor it at the same time, but it has a theatrical theatrical kind of sense to it. So from what I hear anyway, and what it feels as an actor, that it is a bit crazy and a bit funny and, and frantic. But then when certain scenes land, like in the second half, um, the kind of shelter basement scene, um, I think it's really effective because it kind of, you're kind of a bit of a mess throughout the show and then when something really hits you, I think, oh, okay, that's, every time people talk about that, it means, okay, we're doing something really important and maybe if we was too heavy and too clear, you would have had a different experience. So that alone, if you're a bit lost in it mm. and then you're kind of wobbled by certain scenes, I think that's all part of it. Yeah, and, the, and yeah. Anna, the writer's really clever at that mm. actually. She, because we've got, we've got some of the original text and some of the original music in, interwoven in Sarah Anglis' music that she's, that she's written for this. Um, but Anna doesn't kind of uh, sh shove the meaning down your throat, but she'll sort of leave it there for you to discover yourself. And like Act mm. Two is one of those amazing parts where I, I remember getting the scene up on its feet and listening to some of the things that the characters were saying and thinking, God, this is so relevant to now and where we are now. And, and we all feel like we're all so human in these characters, and even though it's set back in a in a different time, it is amazing how much you can resonate. Seeing things like episodically keeps your mind active in a different way, and I mm. think that like that's something that really drew me to the project. And I'd be interested to watch more kind of like plays like that based on you know maybe TV shows or, or in the form of a TV show. I have to say it's a very inventive show too, and very intricate. I was quite amazed by how quick moving the scenes are. You've got. <laughs> rotating symbols you've got those kind of weird the, the weird depth of the doorways yeah. yeah but you're moving you know on and off stage so quickly aren't you was that quite a challenge for you to deliver that they're on stage? called the interbits right they have like their own <laughs> they're treated as scenes aren't they yeah, and they're yeah. treated as, as sequences and we spent do we spend two weeks on them or one I feel like we did we one spent, uh, Yeah, we spent a week fully just doing it. I mean, the first time round, we had a, a bit longer in rehearsals, so we spent a lot of time kind of working at the mechanics, but because of a new cast, we have different tracks, and it's, yeah. even though we've got the new, new actors, they're playing different parts, so we had to kind of reinvent those again. But there was a, a kind of small kind of blueprint of, of that, but um, it is crazy. And also, I think for an actor as well in rehearsals, I don't know about you, but I found it quite jarring or quite difficult to kind of equally be as confident in a scene change than you are in a scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you're doing so many scenes, you play multiple characters, but then, and then at the same time, you're working at these very complicated scenes. As an actor, you're like, wait a minute, I'm not too sure what I'm doing with, with my character in one yeah. of my scenes, but I can bang out and I know exactly what I'm doing in an interbit. And I think that's quite a hard kind of challenge because you're doing all of it at the same time. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I kept wondering what was happening when you went off stage and where the, where the props were going because you're it right, was yeah, so you're, quick. You're either, like, you're either changing, mm. moving scenery and watching a scene as a, as a roommate, as owner, mm. um, which are the people in the office. And um, or you're or you're playing the scene like there's there's three things and so you are, you're all doing something at, at some point and you never like once once the train 
takes off from the station like until until it comes in like that's mm. that's you off and you yeah. don't really get i mean we like i literally sit down and literally from the minute i've sat down they announce that we've got five minutes till beginners of act two and you're like i that's i literally crazy. i literally just made a cup of tea like where is the time gone <laughs> yeah. and it's it is it's but i i love it it keeps because in order to keep an audience guessing and keep keep on the front foot of an audience you kind of have to have the same thing up here mm. so we're all doing exactly the same thing as the audience is doing in their brains trying yeah. to keep mm. up and, and i should also say that you're playing more than one role as well which is another challenge isn't mm -hmm. it yeah. because you're playing different characters does is there, are there ever a moment where you're slipping into another character as part of that yeah. one ollie's person? really good at it like and like genuinely like you're really good at it because you've got like you're like almost schizophrenic like in the way that you do like you've like aged every single character up and I know exactly how old each character and it's amazing and I sometimes watch him and I'm like oh my god that character's actually in his 50s he's so clever it's really it's really cool yeah. I don't know how I do I didn't really have enough time to figure it out I'm just doing it no well it's, it is it is yeah it's crazy I mean everyone has their own different tasks and different things you know you sing a whole number I wish I don't do I do sing uh, I was just gonna yeah, come yeah, on to that because yeah, yeah, yeah. that was so yeah, unexpected because yeah. yeah. up until that moment there was no musical moment in there and yeah. then all of a sudden there's this camp really over the top kind of brilliant performance and very bonkers. It is very camp. Mm. <laughs> just delivered, like, yeah. totally They to said, the like, they brilliant. were like, just do, make it really Shirley Bassey. And I yeah. was like, OK. Because <laughs> you never get asked to, like, be Shirley Bassey in a musical. People are like, no, do not, do, you don't even touch the Bassey. And, like, you in this, somebody Bassey. looked at me and was like, just be, be Bassey. And I was like, OK, <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, I, this is me being a woman. Like, I've just had a baby and I don't feel very sexy at all in myself and I'm still getting to grips with being a mum and stuff. And then they were like, they put me in this like Sid Cherie sparkly gown and, and I got Dan Crosley and I was like, cool, yeah, no, let's do it. And yeah. it's definitely kind of become vampier as the show's gone on, I think. Have you have you ever seen it from the audience perspective? I've only seen photos. Yeah, you? just in tech a couple of times, sitting out if you get a chance. Um, when they're working on us, you know, taking the time to work on a scene. But um, but no, I think I've only seen a couple of scenes yeah. what it looks like. Um, it's so clever. It's so mm. clever because you, you, you get given these like things and it doesn't, if you walk down the street in this certain like thing of like a palette of colours, you'd be a bit like, what, this doesn't look right, but under the lights. Yeah. And in the colour scheme, it's so, so clever the way that the set and the costume have like come together and we're all wearing like chocolate coloured lipsticks. It's all very strange, but it looks amazing. Mm. Does that mean it's longer for you in makeup? to no, get everything we've, ready. We've got it down now. I used to have problems with the, because it's so, obviously the set, you can see is quite dark anyway. Um, behind backstage is even, it's pitch black. You can't see anything really. And there's a couple of quick changes and I've got this black lipstick that I have to apply, which is the most obvious color to be painted on a face in the history of them. So it's like doing that, I've gotten better at that. And I always come out of this door at the end with like black. It used to be like here. <laughs> and like now it's sort of, yeah, but. Uh, no, I think it's the same as any other show, isn't it? Uh, we've got an amazing like costume and wigs team, mm. and they're really quick. They work as hard as we do. We've yeah. got apparently we've got forty wigs in the wow. show, yeah. and there's only and that's just eight of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's just it's just crazy. Just yeah. She's two wigs actually. She's two wigs sewn together. <laughs> I found this out the other day. And I the wigs is like so full on. I, I yeah, I, I don't wear any makeup, unfortunately. But um, you've got I, all the uh, facial hair. But though. I've got all the facial. Yeah, <laughs> I, I found that they told me I've got nine. I do nine changes in the first half, and uh, yeah, I've got tashes and wigs and whatever, and continuously ripping off glue and yeah. putting on costumes, and your face gets a bit sore. Um, but it's yeah, it's full on. It's fun.